Selena, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a glamorous Valentine's Day makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing right now. So I decided to play around with the Carly Bible MBH Cosmetics palette because I have owned it for a while now and apparently they're going to discontinue it. So I wanted to use it before it is completely gone. So that is what I used today to create this look. I decided to go for something glamorous in case some of you are going on a date on Valentine's Day. But if you're not going on a date, don't worry about it. I'm not going on a date because I don't have a boyfriend and it is fine. I'm going to find a reason to wear this look on Valentine's Day even though I don't have a boyfriend but it is an excuse to play around with makeup. If you like this look don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and hit that notification bell so you are notified whenever I post a new video if you want to at least. So yeah if you want to know how to get this Valentine's Day inspired makeup look then definitely just keep on watching. Alright, so to start off, I'm first going to fill in my eyebrows and as usual, I'm using my Colourpop brow color in the shade Dope Dope. To set my eyebrows in place and add a little bit of body to them, I added the Kiko Eyebrow Fibers Colored Mascara in the shade 01. And then it was time to prime my eyelids. As usual, all of the products I used in this tutorial are linked down below. And then for eyeshadow, I went in with the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Eyeshadow and Highlight Palette. And I used the first uh, creamy shade to set that eyeshadow primer in place. Going in with my transition shade from the same palette, I'm applying it in my crease and a little bit above my crease. To darken it up even more, I'm going in with a darker mauve shade, again from the same palette, and this is also a matte shade, and I'm going to focus this right beneath that transition shade that we just applied. And as I have mentioned before, I'm having trouble blending eyeshadow on my inner corners, and this is a trick I've been doing, so I'm lifting my eyebrows, and that way it is easier to blend everything. And then I went in with my transition shade one more time to make sure that there were no harsh edges. To darken up my outer V, I'm going in with the same palette and picking up the darkest mauve shade and applying it in my outer V using a pencil brush. If you're being a little bit messy on the outer V, that is totally fine because I'm going to clean it up afterwards. Then picking up a clean blending brush, I'm going to make sure everything is nice and blended, especially on that outer V. Going back in with my initial transition shade, I'm going to make sure everything is nice and blended. Then before going in with our lid shade, I'm going to apply the NYX glitter primer to prime them from the, for the glitter that we're going to apply. And the glitter I'm going to use today is the Kiko Loose Pigment Eyeshadow in the shade 10. And I'm going to apply it using a flat shader brush that I'm going to damp using my Essence Spray. And then I'm going to pack this shade onto my eyelids without actually rubbing it, but I'm going to pack it on there to make sure that it is nice and intense. Then I added a little bit more of that outer V shade to make sure I'm not losing any of the intensity and then again I'm going to go over it with a blending brush. To darken up the outer V even more, I went in with this Riva Nude, Spec Nude Spectrum palette and picked up the black shade. I find this one easy to use and blend and as you can see I'm going over it with a blending brush and then again with that shimmer to make sure there were no harsh edges or transitions. To clean everything up I'm using a makeup wipe because I find it an easy technique. And then instead of eyeliner today I used the same black eyeshadow and applied it as an eyeliner but this is a lot softer and easier to apply. Picking up these two highlighters from the Carly Bible palette I'm applying them um, on my brow bone as a brow bone highlight. And then moving on to the face, of course I'm going to start off by applying a primer. This one is the new Catrice Prime and Fine Nude Glow Primer. Then for foundation, I mix my LA Girl Illuminating Foundation in the shade Fair with some of the new Catrice Prime and Fine Makeup Transformer Drops in Lightning. And I'm applying this using a brush and then making sure that everything is nice and blended using my Pro Beauty Blender as always. Going in with some concealer, this is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer in the shade Porcelain. I'm applying this underneath my eyes, so on my dark circles and also the center of my face and around my nose where it gets a little bit red in the winter time. And to blend this into my skin, I'm using my Damn Beauty Blender. 
To set that concealer in place and also the rest of my face, I applied the RCMA Translucent Powder. So before I'm going to apply this on my um, dark circles, I made sure that there were no creases using my beauty blender and then going in with a large powder brush, I'm buffing this into the rest of my face. For bronzer today, I used my Too Faced Sweethearts bronzer in the shade Sweet Tea because I thought this was the perfect Valentine's Day bronzer. Moving on to contour, I used my Essence Shading Powder in the shade Light and I used the contouring shade and applied it on the usual areas. Now, for some reason this is very, very orange on me so I wouldn't necessarily recommend this to contour with but it is a beautiful bronzer nonetheless. Moving on to blush, I decided to go in with my Natasha Denona Blush Duo in the shade number 16 and I just mixed both of the shades together and applied them on my cheekbones. Then it is time to add some highlighter. Today I used the LA Girl Strobe Light Strobing Powder in the shade 90 Watt and I absolutely love these highlighters. They're absolutely amazing and super intense and also super affordable. So I really, really, really love these and I would totally recommend them. To make sure my makeup is going to last all night long, I applied some of the Essence Keep It Perfect Makeup Fixing Spray. And then I'm going in with the same highlighter and applying it on my inner corners. And then to bring some light onto my eyes, I applied the Colourpop Creme Gel Liner in Honey Dude, which is just a nude on my waterline. Then for my lower lash line, I picked up the same um, mauve matte shade that I applied on my crease and applied it on my lower lash line and making sure it is nice and connected to my upper lash line. Then adding the darker shade to make sure that everything is nice and smoky and then going in with my transition shade to make sure that everything is nice and blended. Then it's time to curl those eyelashes and for mascara I used the Catrice Rock Couture 24 hour Extreme Volume Mascara. This is a new one by Catrice and I have been absolutely loving it. Since this is more of a glamorous makeup tutorial I decided to add some lashes. I went for the Ardell Demi Wispies use using the House of Lashes Eyelash Adhesive. Then I applied some of the ABH Clear Brow Gel to make sure that my eyebrows weren't moving throughout my date or whatever I'm going to do that night. And then for my lips, I first went in with the Catrice Lip Foundation Pencil in the shade Caramel Blonde to go. To fill in my actual lips, I used the ABH Liquid Lipstick in the shade Pure Hollywood, which is a beautiful nude or pinky nude shade and I thought it was perfect for a Valentine's Day look. To go for something different instead of my matte lips that I always do, I decided to add a gloss and this is the NYX Intense Butter Gloss in the shade Tres Leches. And that completes this makeup tutorial. I really, really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel and hopefully I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!